Hi everyone, it's Jaden back here for another video. Thanks for tuning in. And you know, if there's a cake, you know it's gonna be a good video. So, my other cousin, not my cousin from last time, my other cousin on the other side of the family has asked me to make a cake for him, a Nerf cake. So, challenge accepted. We are gonna be making a Nerf cake. Um, it's not gonna be like a Nerf shaped cake, it's gonna be like, you know, rectangle cake with Nerf gun on it and stuff. So yeah, come along for the ride, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. So let's get started. So to make this recipe, I'm starting out with putting all the dry ingredients and mixing them together. Um, this is just one of the messes they had, and he wants a zebra cake. So we're gonna be doing basically the same idea of what we did for my other cousin's cake. So yeah. Now once all those mixed together, I'm going to add two sticks of butter, and you make sure your butter is softened, otherwise it will spill like a ton and you'll have a huge mess. Okay, here we go. Oh, mm. that's not... Yeah, like I was saying, that's going to spill. Mm. It's still spilling. Seriously. I have just a pile of flour on my table now. <laughs> exactly. Not cool. Okay, but we can be mature about this. Now I'm gonna add some vanilla and some oil. So give it a nice cakey texture stuff. I'm gonna mix this together. Alright. Just gonna scrape down the sides here. Okay, that was weird. So, now that we have our cake batter, I'm just going to figure out how to take this thing off. There we go. Eat that later. <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> now the bowl. This bowl always gets me. Uh, investigation. Ah, oh, bingo. Okay, we're just gonna set that right there and now the reason we have a bowl here is because I'm going to split the vanilla batter and I'm just going to make one part chocolate and then leave the vanilla regular because if I didn't like you would have to make two separate recipes and I did that once and it took so long and so many ingredients and I'm like this is ridiculous so most people now will just make a vanilla and then add more ingredients to one of them to make it um chocolate and then you have two and then you will have to bother by making two recipes because that's really annoying so now we have our cake batter split up into two and it doesn't matter if it's not quite even because you know it's gonna be good either way so now I'm just gonna add some more ingredients to one of them to make it more chocolatey not so much vanilla so Just gonna add all of those in. That looks good. Oh, missed an ingredient. Get that. Okay, now. Oh wait, I missed one more. Oh man, this is so annoying when that happens. And now we have our chocolate batter. Perfect. Now, with a greased 9x13 pan, you want to take some of the batter from each one and just scoop it into the middle. You want a good puddle, so depending on how big your um, spoon is, you want, you want to do it twice. And then you repeat with the chocolate, with the scoop or two, and you just keep doing that until it's filled. But I found that if you just dump it straight out of the bowl, it's much easier. So, I would not recommend doing this, and you also make the spoons dirty. So, now that our cake is baked... We're going to just use a little spatula and get all around the edges just to really loosen it. Because if you don't do this, it might stick and your cake's going to crack and you're going to get big chunks of cake and stuff, so it's not going to be good. So I'm just going to straighten this out on a board. Okay, the moment of truth. Will it stick? No success. See a little bit of caramelization in the bowl there, but main pan, but that'll be fine. We don't want that anyways. So now I have this cake, and now we're just going to freeze this until very cold. <laughs> now, onto the fondant. We want all this tiny sugar here. We have marshmallows here, and a lot of tiny sugar over there. Now we need to mar melt the marshmallows, so 
we can actually make this. So I've just melted the marshmallows and now I'm just gonna mix them together. Mix, 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 mix. They look so good. I find this kind of curious because I noticed that when you put marshmallows in the microwave and let them set, they tend to get like hard again. But I'm like, how is this gonna work then? But then I was like, oh, maybe it's to help it set. I'm actually make the fondant set. I'm like, okay, well that might work because a ton of sugar would make it thick and this is another option. So I've just stuck in the microwave again because I had chunks in there. And so, yeah. I'm like really concerned they're just gonna flow over because marshmallows get really big when they go in the microwave, but we are just so fine, so. Oh my, mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna have to get another, another bowl because I need to add the 10 x sugar and this is not a big enough bowl. There we go, now I have a big bowl. I'm gonna scrape all of that in there. And now we're gonna add tenic sugar. You, to, you don't wanna add all of it at one time, of course. You just wanna add little by little until it's a good texture and then you can dump it out and start kneading it. Mix and mix and mix and mix. Bruh. Oh no. The end of my spatula came out, no. Oh, I'm gonna go get another spatula. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have mixed it together thoroughly, and I'm just gonna- Oh no, it's sticking. Oh, it's sticking so bad. Ew. Yuck, look at that. Oh boy. This stuff is sticky. Okay. Push and push. Okay, a long time later, I have finally got it into a consistency of fondant, I think. Remind me never to make fondant again. Aw, oh, man, now I got this mess. Okay, um, uh, let's jump. Okay, three, two, one, huh! <laughs> wow, that was loud. And look at that, perfectly plain. Completely plain and just in time, too. That's all for day one, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! So what we have here is the blue things are the bullets that I was making and you can see the real bullet there and I did actually film this but then I accidentally deleted everything on my camera that's why I'm showing these pictures and the one in the yellow are the circle wafer things that I used to I just cut them in half and I wrapped the fondant around they're actually really hard to make if you wanted to know so yeah this is what I'm doing and it made quite a mess but oh well. And then this is the cake, of course. I froze the cake, frosted it, and then froze it again. And then I put orange swirlies around the top and bottom. They look pretty bad, but anyways. And then I put the gun on and the bullets and wrote happy birthday, Caleb. And boom, it was basically done in no time. Not really, but we like to see things that way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Make sure to like and subscribe and share it with anyone that you know that loves baking. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.